In this video, I'm going to talk about the Karadenis wrist rules to rule out fractures after acute wrist trauma. Get our very own assessment ebook and mobile app. Links are in the video description. Hi and welcome back to PhysioTutors. Although only 39% of patients presenting to the emergency department with wrist trauma have sustained a fracture, the majority of patients is routinely referred back for radiography. For this reason, the Karadenis wrist rules were developed in order to decrease the number of X-rays in suspected distal radius, distal ulna and carpal bone fractures within 24 hours after acute wrist traumas. According to Karaka et al. in the year 2016, the Karadenis wrist rules have a sensitivity of 100% and a low specificity of 6.6% in the detection of wrist fractures. These results have not been externally validated yet, which is why we give the rule a moderate clinical value to rule out wrist fractures. The decision rule contains the following items. Due to their provocative nature, we propose the following order. Number one, ask your patient to perform active dorsiflexion of the wrist. Number two, ask your patient to perform active radial deviation. Number three, palpate the distal ulna for sensitivity. Number four, the radio ulna drawer test. Stabilize your patient's distal radius with the dorsum of his hand facing upwards. Then apply an alternating dorsal and volar stress to the distal ulna. Number five, axial compression tests. Hold on to the metacarpal bone one and give axial pressure on the trapezium and scaphoid. Perform the same axial pressure with the metacarpal bones 2 to 5. All of the five items are considered positive if pain is provoked. In the radio ulnar drawer test, an increased amplitude of movement compared to the other side is considered as a positive test as well. In case all five items are negative, a fracture of the radius, ulna and carpal bones could be ruled out with 100% confidence in the study of Karaka et al. Okay, this was our video on the Karadenis wrist rules. Should you be interested in a test battery that is evaluated in a more thorough study, check out the Amsterdam wrist rules by a click on the link in the description down below. The problem with these rules though is that they require a calculation tool as every single test is weighted differently. Thanks a lot for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the like button if you liked the video, of course, and to subscribe to our channel if you haven't yet. You can find more of us in the links in the description of this video down below. This is Kai for PhysioTutors. See you soon. Bye.